Alright everybody, welcome back to Digimon Survive. We are going to play it fun and we're going to ask the kidnappers about this Digigod. I know it's risky, but I think we should try asking the kidnappers. Can't be serious. What if we actually end up a sacrifice this time? Suji, I realize it's dangerous, but what other choices do we have? If they know something about how we might be able to get home. Then we should do anything we can to find out what that is. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Dari Kenimon did say something interesting the other day. You mean how she called us sacrifices? That was pretty hard to miss, wasn't it? If this world's destruction can be halted by such means, our ruler must be involved. Therefore, the kidnappers may know much more about this subject than I do. Well, if they're our own, if they're our only lead, we'll just have to make them talk now, won't we? Would you give it a rest already? You're always so quick to pick a fight. I know, right? Kaito's such a thug. Well, what other options? Garrett, they may be scary, and they may be up to no good, but we can still talk to them. Maybe we can negotiate, or something, I don't know. Nah, they have the type to listen to reason. We'll have to beat the answer out of them. You don't know that. Sorry, but what, I'm with Kaito on this one. I just don't know where we can find them, or how we could make some talk. All we have to do is wait. They're definitely trying to kidnap us again, right? But if we wait for them, don't you think they'll have a side disadvantage? Yes, this seems ill advised. Not how I like to do things. I'm with Haru on this one. Miyuki and Mew with us, we should try to minimize our risk. My sister and I can wait at the school, we'll be fine. Fine. No, I will not allow that. Well, what what if we took the initiative? Uh, how do we do that? Do you even know where to find them? We've got a pretty good idea. They came in from the north, which leads to the sea. And what do you think is beyond that? The sea? Oh, right, I forgot. This place is an island. Wait, you can't mean... Yeah, we just got across the sea to attack. But how? It's not like we've got a boat, let alone an airplane. Hey, what are those? They're different types of vehicles. Boats float on water, airplanes, and fly. You mean you haven't seen anything like them before? Nope, never. Unfortunately, I can't say I have either. I doubt any of us have. Yeah, that's what I figured. Between the cable car and this theme park, I thought there was a chance that maybe not. There are monsters who can swim that stay by the water, but I doubt they'll carry us. Yes, it doesn't seem very likely. Unless maybe one of those monsters was a giant turtle that could carry us on its back. Or a whale mod. Of course, if it was a monster that swam under water, we'd probably all drown. So what do we do? Oh, I've got it. Well, what's with it? Minyaru, what is it all of a sudden? I said the best idea. What are you talking about? Remember how we went to the dam? There was that place that went underground? You know that door? that had that crazy sign on it. You think maybe it went through there if we'd come out on the other side of the ocean? Yeah, the underground waterway. Right, that's what you call it. Anyways, it's basically like an underwater tunnel. I believe the directions do line up. However, the door was locked. Did you know, not say it would not open? In that case, this, I hope this might be of some use to you. Digimon. What's that? It looks like some type of key. And hey, the pattern looks like just like the one on the door. The ones who attacked this place had it hidden away. Having the foggiest idea of what it might be used for, though. This could be just what we need. Maybe we'll have to go check. Yeah, it looks like we'll know what our next goal is. Yes, looks like it. First, we need to see if we can use this key to open that door to the underground waterway. Then, if it works, we can take the waterway across the ocean. I 
after getting the key from Gigi Mon, we left the park and returned to the school. In part because it was late to try the water lay, but mostly because we were exhausted, especially Mew, who fall us who fell asleep just as soon as we got back. Her relief at having Kaido by her side again probably had something to do with it. As for me. Could we really go back? Takuma, you're not going to sleep? Oh, Agumon, sorry, did I wake you? No, I've been up. Something on your mind, Takuma? I guess you could say that. It's more like, now that I know there might really be a way for us to go home, I'm kind of excited. Well, that's it. Everyone did seem pretty lively at dinner. Yeah, I guess they did. I mean, I kept going on and on about finally being able to read comics again. Then everyone fell asleep not long after we ate. Yeah, well, it worked really hard. They all worked really hard today. They sure did. But I think you worked harder than anyone. You do? Absolutely. You're really something else, Takuma. I'm proud to be your partner. I don't know what it is I'm hearing, but Agumon said that really warms my heart. Well, I'm proud to be your partner too, Agumon. Well, that makes me so happy. Thanks, Takuma. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, what are you two doing? Oh, it's Kaito and Drakmon. So, hmm, something smells tasty. Oh, you're right. Well, I was feeling kind of hungry. That's what woke me up. You mean, you got up for a snack, don't let Oi catch you. Yeah, keep this quiet, okay? She can be downright fearful when, I come, when she gets mad. Yeah. How's Mew? She fell asleep pretty soon after we got back. She did, she's not injured or anything, so I don't think anything's wrong, but for all she went through, on how, but how fun that amusement park was, and how she wanted to stay there with everyone, being on her own must have been stressful. Yeah, I'm glad we found her. So look, thanks for everything. I just feel like I leaned on you guys a lot today. Plus, is Kaito being open and honest about how he feels for once? No way. Pretty hard to believe. Oh, shut up, both of you. But seriously, I don't think we have found her if it wasn't for you, Takuma. So thanks. Well, come on, you helped as much as we... You helped as much as we helped you. And we'll really be counting on you tomorrow. Then leave it to me. Don't count me out. Or me too. Me too. Right, I'll be counting on both of you. If I better be getting to bed tomorrow, it's going to be a tough one. Yeah, we'd better rest up. I have a nice where I can't sleep all the time, guys. Like, lately, every every night, I'm staying up till like 4 in the morning. Sniff. Oh, Suji's having a dream. What's going on? You're, you're wrong, you're wrong, Dad. Suji. Suji. I suppose you must despise me. How could I? How could I hate my a father like you? That's why I demonstrate the ability except... That's why you won't demonstrate the ability except of a... Except it of a Kanyama boy. Next time, next time, I'll do you proud, Dad, I swear. Don't try to push yourself, Shuji. I'll just work hard enough for the two of us. Then you shut up, brother. You don't understand me. The feelings of a loser like me? How could you possibly understand? From the start, I didn't want to do it. I couldn't do it. Why didn't anyone say anything? If I can't do it, tell me I can't. If I'd known, then I wouldn't have had to do this. Why do you give up, Shuji? Are you truly my son? No, no, you're wrong, Dad. And how exactly am I mistaken? I understand I won't let you down. Really, please believe me. I can do it, just like my brother. I'm my father's son after all, so I can do it. It sounds like Suji is expected to live up to his older brother's standards and not be himself. And that might be why Suji is the way he is. He's being pressured. Don't look at me with those eyes. Don't be mad at me, please. I'll do anything. 
I'll work so hard, just don't abandon me. I'll make you happy, I'll work hard for you. Don't, don't abandon me. People gotta realize that their children is different than each other. This is a dream, I see just a dream. Ah. Why don't you change? I see you're the same. You're just like I was when my dad chewed me out and had to abandon me. So don't abandon Lotmon, Suji. After asking Neo at the amusement park, we went back to the school for a bit. From Gigimon, we learned that we might be a, be a way for us to get back to our world as for the way we should see, ask it we should ask an enemy out there who knows more what's going on we have to be ready before we go asking questions so we're checking all the supplies have you got anything promising talk nothing worth mentioning how about you nothing here over here either i'm hopeless aren't i that's not true you're just as hard at is everyone else? Thanks. We haven't found anything either, so don't sweat it. Right, what Agumon said. Oh, hey, you guys here too? Yeah, we couldn't find anything, though. Any luck over there? None at all, I'm afraid. You'd think a school would have more useful stuff. What's the deal, I wonder? You see the, the others? They haven't showed up yet. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Uh, morning. Sounds like Shuji had a nasty dream last night. He must be pretty wiped out. Are you alright, Shuji? You look a little pale. You were talking all funny in your sleep. You have a nightmare or something? What? No, I'm fine. I slept like a baby, I swear. Still, you're not looking too good. I said I'm fine on my own. We have no idea what's going to happen. I can't leave you alone. Enough already. Don't come with me. Hey, Mew? Those two are the same as ever. Kind of puts you at ease, doesn't it? Now's not the time to sit back and relax. We have to stop them from bickering. What in the world are you doing? Huh? Suji? Hey, you two. Your constant fighting is starting to annoy everyone. Shut up. The, this is family business, so stay out. Calm down, guys. And Mew, don't be so cruel to your brother. But I didn't do anything wrong. Those two get along in their own way. Suji, maybe you... Don't need to be so harsh. You say so. Anyway, stop arguing so much over nothing. Oh, hey, the gang's all here. Yes, I am last. Uh, did I miss something important? No, it's cool. Now that everyone's here, maybe we should see where we're at. That's a good idea. Let me take the lead, Tarkin. It's all you. Humans are kind of intense, huh? If only all of them were as nice as Oi. Nothing to be done about it now. We can only have faith and watch over them. You sure about that? In other words, nothing worth reporting this is bad given the enemies are out there. Those things want to sacrifice us or something? I don't get it. What is this caretaker in the first place? Maybe the one behind all of this? Probably like the king of all evil, right? I bet we'd figure things out if we met him. That means waltzing into the enemy's hideout. That's not risky, that's a death sentence. She's right. The idea is pretty frightening. What are you saying? You act like we've got a choice. We got no idea what's coming for our enemies. Why we're being attacked, even this world. How are we supposed to defend ourselves if we're in the dark here? We gotta kick the door down and get them to spill everything they know. Well, you're not wrong. Yeah, I like it. Jump right to the last boss. You're gonna stay put, Mew. Why? It's obvious how dangerous this is gonna be. And you don't worry about us at all. Just hurt. No wonder she has... She feels coddled to death. Now, everyone, hold your horses. I can't let any of you walk into the enemy base. It's too dangerous. Oh boy, here we go again. You have no need to fear a certain degree of danger with us around. You know. Yeah, well, I'll protect Takuma. We've been through our fair share of crazy scrapes, after all. Their numbers ain't nothing to worry about. Neither. Easy pickings. True, true. 
it should be fine with all of these guys around, right? With their power, we shouldn't have too much trouble, I guess. Damn it, that's easy for you to say. Beast, your beasts are strong. Anyway, I'm against this. There's no need to, to face such danger. There are other ways. This is our best option now. Rush their base and get all the intel we need. Simple. This is going nowhere, man. Why don't you try giving your two cents? Hmm. Should we wait to the enemy base or look for another way? The first choice is definitely dangerous, but it'd be nice to get some info. The second base means finding a safer way to learn about the world, but how exactly? Each option has its pros and cons. I don't see my options tipping the scales, but... I'm entering. We have, we can fight. I'm with Minaru and Kaito. We should head to the enemy base. Right on the money, am I right? But that means... But that means we'll end up fighting, doesn't it? Isn't there a more peaceful way? I know we run the risk of being attacked, but we run the same risk by staying here. Besides, we're not going there to fight, we just want to talk. If things get dicey, we can always run. Indeed, if it comes to that, opening up an escape route should be a try trifle for us. Ah, I get it. Well, if that's the case, it can't be all that dangerous, right? So that's it, then you're all just going to ignore me. Is it because my beast is weak, because I can't fight? I, I must be strong. Always strong, always correct. I must guide everyone, and yet... Shuji, are you okay? Anyway, we have enemies out there, so we have to fight. That means we have to work together, that way we can all get home safely. Assuming there's even a way back home. Can't stand the idea of being offered up with no clue as to why. I'm gonna go look inside the school again. All of you should consider your own plans. Wait. Sounds like he didn't, he didn't find Jack either. You should watch your tone. Shuji is performing his duties quite admirably. Shuji is trying his best, unlike me. You're doing your best too. Have more confidence in yourself. Thanks. Hey Takuma, what are we going to do? Our search takes priority, but maybe I'll talk to everyone and get a bigger picture. You do whatever you want, Argon. It'd be nice if he actually knew something, but oh well. Free action time! So... I think we're going to do a free battle. Why not? So... I got a feeling Lotmon's going to need leveled up. You can get leveled up. Um, Betamon. You're level 24, and you're level 24. Those are just to try and get everybody to. an equal enough level? Oh my! What happens if you... get you bar? Then fire run. Crap, because I forgot you become data type. Have you actually moved here? And use advantage. Um, let's have you evolve into Vegemon, so you're a virus. Poop toss you. You become a data type. But you're still going to be more useful. 
did evolving into Shellmon. And end your turn. Uh, poor Betamon. Yeah, let's have you evolve. Have you did evolve? Still a side attack. There we go. And there are no chests. I have you really I like Seatermon, so that's the route I'm gonna go with him. Betamon is. Try and get them up to Seatermon eventually. Uh, yeah. Not quite. Oh, the back attack, so... That's a good crit. Here. Vegemon ended you. Betamon is weak in this game. I do have a vaccine, so 
definitely want to put you down. Uh, you. Get you put down. That? That should be good. Data types are good against them, but we're gonna go ahead and get my own deity mod. What's your attack? Here you should be able to. Have you evolved into Shelmon? Another data type. You here. Move you here. There's one down. This thing can only attack. Got a counter. Move it here. And your turn. Talking to Vegemon. Because <laughs> that's what will be the best, because that's a virus type. Production RAR. Oh, I'm not using. I'm actually gonna have you move over here because the Ethereum should be able to handle Delta Mon.
I mean... Definitely not the greatest. But... I should have. Well, just... I don't even know what I'm doing. I mean, Lopmon at this point is... More easy. There we go. And we'll end that video over there. And we'll pick up the story next time. But I got... Everyone close to what I think they should be. Hopefully we can find another thing to did evolve. One into Cedarmon. But, alright. <laughs>